previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Who else, Robert? Sir Ratzig. What a relief. We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. Sir Markvart, the efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Radzik Kobila. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be.
Good day to you. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Good health to you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Look, I have to get out of here to bury my parents. I'd reward anyone who'd help me. What could a ragamuffin like you give me? Clear off before I give you a whipping. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> for anything else, you should see a fellow called Votava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. God be with you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin.
God be with you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. What are you doing here? Are you serious? Good day to you. What do you think about the Scallets folk? It's a hell of a thing. First, everyone is shitting themselves that Sigismund is coming, and then it turns out like this. Praise the Lord they got out of the siege. Scallet's castle is well fortified, all right, but I hear Sigismund's army is huge, and facing him is suicide. Sir Radzig did the right thing. I'm sorry you didn't all manage to get away. So am I. May God ease your pain. Thank you. I reckon that Sir Radzik must be a good man, the way he looks after his people. But you probably know him better. Not really. My father was forging a sword for him, and when he came to have a look at it, we exchanged a few words. That's it. Hmm. Then that's a fine lord. That was a tense moment this morning with Sigismund. Sir Divish handled it masterfully. This is a strong castle. It should stand up to a siege, but Sigismund has an awful lot of soldiers. Who are those peculiar mercenaries of his? You mean the Cumans? No one knows much about them, except... Sigismund enlisted them somewhere in the east. They're an evil looking bunch, ain't they? Not just looking. Hey! Good day to you. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. Hey! Open the gate!
I'll never scare these stains out. God bless. Jesus Christ be praised. Have you got any work that needs doing? Not much. Unless you're not averse to a bit of risk. How do you mean? As you can see, I tan hides. I can only buy them from the master huntsman and he never gives me enough. I'd hunt them down myself, only he keeps a close watch on me. But you now... Well, I don't think the master huntsman would be any happier about me hunting on his preserve. He wouldn't, if he caught you at it. Look here, I'll pay a good price for whatever you bring me. And sometimes I have to fill an order and I need something in particular. In which case, I would pay you extra. And if you help me out a few times, I might be able to teach you something useful. Couldn't you use some hides? I need the hide of a sturdy row buck. There's a wealthy merchant after one to hang on his wall. <laughs> As if anyone would believe he bagged it himself. Hey, watch it! They've already gone. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time.
Sweet Jesus. That's the charcoal burner. Well now. He didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. <coughs> Used to buy a sign and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me.
Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Bishop? What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I asked what you're doing here. How about you give me an answer? If I want to confess, I'll go to the priest. Go away and leave me in peace. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that... And where will you dig it, anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Shit, shit, shit. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard.
This is a good place. You're going to like it here. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? the sword. Who are you? What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could it have cost you a few teeth? Chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over.
you need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scallitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scallitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse, but at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scallets and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Hey, 
Youngster, come here. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? That was a pretty speech, but you're still talking about a filthy deed. I won't do it. I value my honor higher than coin. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back, and quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me.
I changed my mind. I'll do what you want. Come to your senses, eh? Great. You know what you have to do. Get me the ring from that dead man on Gallows Hill. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. <laughs> 